Let's see how to simplify a logical expression using the core logical equivalences. The one we'll simplify is one that's going to be important in the next section on deductive reasoning patterns. So it's got, this is, it's an implication, and it's got two, the condition is the expression on the left, that's P and B implies Q, and the consequence is Q. And we'd like to know, is this a tautology, a contradiction, or neither? Now, if, it a, if it's a tautology, that's good, because then if we know that P is true, and we know that P implies Q is true, then we also knew, know something else that Q is true, because an implication is the claim that the condition it guarantees, the truth of the condition guarantees the truth of the consequence. So here, the truth of P and the truth of P implies Q would guarantee the truth of Q. So let's see if it's a tautology, a contradiction, or neither. Okay, so I've, on the left, I've repeated the expression, but above the P implies Q, I've paired it with a pattern from the core logical equivalences. On the right, I've replaced P implies Q with something it's logically equivalent to. And you can see the replacement, X implies Y, not X or um, Y. So basically, P is X and Y is Q. Okay, now I'm going to take the right-hand side on this line and repeat it on the left on the next line. So it's the same expression on the left, but I'm going to analyze it differently. This time, I want to simplify the, um, or expand rather, the left-hand side because I can distribute the and, that's the wedge, over the or, that's the V. And you can see here that X goes to P, Y goes to not P, and Z goes to Q. And that's what I've done on the right-hand side. You can see that um, it expands as X um, and Y, or X and Z, and I've carried that out with the actual expression. So we get that P and not P, or P and Q implies Q. Okay, now this is good because whenever you have a not, like your P and not P, the thing simplified because P and not P is always false. Okay, let's see how that works. We're going to, again, I'm going to repeat the right-hand side in the second line as the first line and the third line. So looking at that first line and the third line, I'm going to look at X is P and not, and, X, and so that expression P and not P just gets replaced with false. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. Replace this expression is the first one on the left. And here we have, a, we can apply the logical equivalence F or X is just X because if because the false is already false, so the truth of that only depends on X. Okay, now we've simplified the condition of the overall implication as much as possible, so we're now going to apply the um, implication identity again, where this time X is P and Q and Y is Q. So you can see on the right, it's not, it's not, X, P, and Q, here's P and Q, and Y is Q, okay? And then um, we can, on the next line, whether on the this line here, you can see that I've got a not of an and, and we can use a De Morgan identity, um, one of the core logical equivalences to bring the not in. And when you bring a not in and distribute it over a, over a wedge, it applies to each of the P's and Q's, but also changes the wedge to a V. And that's actually good because the, the V's here, I can then reassociate with each other. So as a result, I can take this expression here, and instead of doing the V on the left first, I can do the V on the right first from associativity. And that's good because not Q or Q is always true. And that's what's done here. P, not P or not Q or V is not P or T true. And since this is true, if either one of these true, and this is always true, this is true. Therefore, this original expression is a tautology and will, perf and will form the basis of one of our um, deductive patterns of reasoning. 